is to write a letter and get confident. We can do all that from home. That's lame. Hey everybody, it's me Lappy, and welcome back to my channel for another episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 The Not So Berry Challenge. Okay, so I played about a day's worth off camera, just kind of working on Nessa's skills and her rocket ship, but she has school today. I also worked with the, my darling Mariah a little bit. I had her call in to work and negotiate a bonus, so now she's a little bit, ooh boy, so now she's a little bit closer to getting promoted. She needs to stop going into her daughter's room. I am seriously going to lock it so that nobody but Nessa can get in there and mess with her computer. But yeah, you might notice I'll go I'm going to start using these Sims 3 rewards. Okay, we're going to work from home. She needs to write a letter and get confident. We can do all that from home. That's lame. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and lock this for everyone but Nessa. Stop working on your rocket ship. Alright, let's go ahead and work with Mariah a bit. Gonna have her psych herself up. Um, I don't know if I want to age her up just yet. Because part of me wants to, like... Part of me wants to get her and Tom married. For the sake of, like, easiness and making sure I have everything in this generation done. All right, we have gotten confident. Now we need to write a letter. Back off, Tom. Stop it. Go over here. You are going to use the computer and write a letter. Then I need to figure out something else for her to do today because my entire plan was to have her work from home and do a bunch of stuff, but she's already done with that. Maybe we could have her go out and visit her sister at the old house. That might be fun. Oh, and I was... I, I had Nessa working on the building table earlier, and I got really sad because in our household inventory we have a bunch of stuff that was in... <sighs> that was in Theodosia's inventory, and I got real sad. Really sad. Alright, what are you doing, Tom? He's talking with some friends. Alright, god, he's ugly. Why are the land crabs such an ugly family? I mean, he's not too bad, but it's pretty bad. Okay. So we've gotten all of our stuff for her done. Nessa, you've got school. You can ask for advice, sure. Uh, pick something you like. Alright, maybe I could have these two go out on a date or something. I'm pretty sure I have a restaurant out. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna have them go off to a restaurant and spend some time together. Alright. Nessa, Nessa, you're going. Okay, go study hard. Okay, I'm gonna have these two go out on a date then. Or I could... I really want to visit the old house, though. I mean, we've got time. We can do a little bit of both. It's, it's not the end of the world if we do both. Uh, let's go to Oasis Springs. And we're going to pay a visit to Mabel. Oh, Mabel adopted a little goth girl. That's cute. Oh, that's cute. Alright, let's just go visit her. Oh my god, we have a lot of romantic relationships. Now we'll just go on our own. We should meet Sierra, because she's kind of our niece. You know, she's being raised by our sister, so we might as well. I'm kind of disappointed that MC Command Center hasn't had either of the Barrymore sisters, like, have kids of their own yet. 
Like, it's just Mariah, and that's a little wild because, like, she's the most irresponsible of the three of them and probably should not be allowed to have kids. Like, that's- that- she shouldn't be allowed to have Nessa, okay? The only reason that Nessa turned out great, great was because of her grandma being there most of the time. And no, she's dead. Yeah, I'm still sad over Theo. I'm still pretty dang sad over Theodosia. Let's just wait for the game to load in. There we go. One build mode item has been removed. I don't know what that could be, because I haven't uninstalled any of my DLC lately. I don't know if I use CC or something? Let me in. Nobody's home. Where are you, sister? Okay, fine. Uh, looks like I sat... You know what? I'm gonna summon... Mabel Barrymore. Yes, and... Sierra Goth. Yes, you're both gonna come here. Cause we would like to bond. We would like to bond. Alright, there they are. Okay. Let's go ahead and knock on the door. Let me in. Let me in. Okay, we can come on in. Alright, I want to look at this house for a second. Oh, there's Nessa's old room when she was a toddler, and there's Theo and Eliza's room. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god, I miss- I miss Gen 1. Alright, let's go introduce ourselves to Sierra. Our kind of niece. Hello, small child. I love her. She's cute. Who are her parents, I wonder? Don Lothario and Bella Goth! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, for those of you who don't get what I'm laughing about, um, in The Sims 2, the main, um, storyline for Pleasant View in Strangetown is that, uh, Bella Goth went missing and she was last seen on Don Lothario's deck looking through, um, a telescope. And it was weird because, um, because he was seen making romantic advances on her that she was trying to evade, but... Oh my goodness. It looks like Don and Bella had a kid in The Sims 4. Oh, that's wild. Interesting, but wild. Let's just bond with her a little bit. I would kind of like, I don't know, just thinking out loud a little bit. Maybe. Nah, she'll be much older. Never mind. I was kind of thinking that maybe the gray generation heir could end up with Sierra, but no, she's going to be way older than any of our kids. Maybe one of her kids. Because she's almost a teen right now. There we go, let's just talk with her a little bit. Because she's the closest thing to a niece we've got right now. So we might as well. Oh 
Oh my gosh. I can't believe this. Okay, we've bonded with Sierra a little bit. Now let's go find Maeve. I don't know where Maeve ended up. Okay. We've met Sierra. Um, now to find our other sister somewhere. I think... I think she should be... Green label? No. Okay. I have no clue. There she is. Okay, she's right across the street, so let's go over there. Let's go over there, talk to our other sister a bit. I'm thinking I might set her to get pregnant in the next cycle. Because, like, I want more kids in this family. Like, I just... Kids are good. Kids are very good. And I want more. Not more for Mariah and Tom, obviously, but just more in the Barrymores. Barrymore kids, you could say. Oh my god, I'm never gonna get over the fact that Bella Goth had a kid with Don Lothario. Like, I'm never gonna be over that. It's hilarious. <sighs> okay. Let's see here. Here we are. Let's go ahead and knock on the door. She ended up in a mint house. That's nice. Alright, here we are. Or there's Maeve, our sister. And I'm gonna go MC Command Center, MC Pregnancy. Mark her for pregnancy. Alright. Our sister. Yanabi. Oh my god, I've missed her. She was like the golden child. She was the golden child of the Barrymores. I love her so much. Like, her sister... Um, their other sister was kind of like the unremarkable youngest. You could say, like, she was just kind of the baby of the family. Maeve was the oldest, and she was the golden child. Like, she was probably the favorite. Oh my god. And she's the one that turned out the best, too. Like, she's got good traits. Who are you? Got some teens walking around. Oh, that's Pierce Delgato. He got bigger. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of the boy. Oh my god, we are so close to getting a promotion. Oh my god, it's happening in the next episode. Oh, thank god. We're finally gonna finish this generation off. Okay, we're gonna finish this generation off. I don't know if I should age Nessa early or what. Because she's only a teen right now. Uh, oh man, I actually don't know what to do. I was expecting this career to take a longer time to finish. I think I'm just gonna send her to work tomorrow. So that she can get all of the XP in one. I don't know. Leave me ideas in the comments down below on what you want me to do. Like, um, I might, like, work on her aspiration and her skills while she's a teenager. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna have her work on her aspiration and her skills as a teenager. Spend some time playing off camera, maybe. I'll probably age her and Sia up a little early. Like, not a lot early, but early enough. Alright, they are best friends now. Mmm. I want to move on to yellow. Like, her skills are pretty high. She's doing good on her rocket scientist, as her aspiration. She's got a loving girlfriend, you know. It kind of makes sense for her to be aged early. Uh, I could also have her move out as a teenager, but... Oh my god, okay. I'm very conflicted on this, because on the one hand, I want to have plenty of time. On the one hand, I want plenty of time to work with uh, Nessa, like I want to have all of her teen years, but on the other hand, I want to, you know, now that we're done with this generation, I high key just want to get it over with and transfer to the next one. Like, yeah, okay, I'm going... Okay, I'm going to age Maeve and Tom, and I'm going to age up Nessa as soon as uh, Mariah ages up, not as soon as she ages up, as soon as she's done with her aspiration, no, she's already done with her aspiration, she's been don done with her aspiration for a long time. But I think as soon as she's done with her career, I'm going to go ahead and age everybody up and just move right along, get into Yella. There. There's my plan. Okay. And now that we've gone out and seen our sisters... Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. Okay. I was thinking that the M key was moving the screen around, but no, it was, it was just me. It was just me. Alright, let's... Uh... Let's just go ahead and head home, I think. Yeah, let's go home. Okay, head back to the townhouse. We're gonna go alone. Okay. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we're finally gonna be done with her generation. And we're gonna have a wedding, and it's all gonna be good. Oh, uh, I, I don't have enough time to fin to do a wedding right now. In the next episode, I think, we're gonna... Once, like, she's home from work, I'll start the episode, we'll have a wedding, then we'll have, like, we'll have, like, a mass birthday party, we'll have a wedding. Hmm. Of course, we could age them up right now. That's a thing that we could do. Okay, we need, we need to pay our bills, though. We gotta go ahead and pay them bills. Uh, where's our mailbox? There is our mailbox. Go ahead and pay your bills. And I will age you and Tom up. Okay, we need another cake. That's fine. Mm, yeah. Let's go ahead and cook up a cake. Let's get a chocolate cake going in this house. Um, alright. I mean, we can- you know what, I won't age them up in this episode. 
I'll age them up in the next episode after work, and then we can go get married. And then I will move Nessa out, age her up in her new house, and have Sia age up too and ask her to move in. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud right now. I don't know for sure how I'm going to do this. You know, I can I have time. Like it's not till next week. And I can figure it out then. Let's just cook up this cake. Cook up the cake. And then we will add on our birthday candles. And put it right on away. Alright, there we go. That is a nice cake. Okay. And we will... Do, do, do. It needs to be centered. Add birthday candles to that. Splat. Awesome. Cut it out. Like sure about scratching. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode of the Not So Berry Challenge here then. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope... Uh, if you did, please feel free to leave a like and comment and subscribe. And I'm not posting new videos every single day yet anymore, but I am post... Or, well, right now I'm not posting them every day, but I still post regularly. So if you want to catch my next videos, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye!